repentance, the process of turning away from sin and choosing the path of righteousness. As you take that new path in your life, let churchmilitant.tv help you to discover the fullness of truth that resides in the Holy Catholic Church alone. Please consider signing up for a $10 a month premium account today, and may God bless you. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. A woman was attacked by a man with a six-inch knife during a silent and prayerful pro-life event called Life Chain in Toronto this past Sunday. The woman, who's in her late 40s, suffered a concussion but is at home now after being discharged from the hospital. The attack could have ended much worse had it not been for the efforts of a 60-year-old man who jumped in to shield the woman from the knife-wielding man. The attacker is being charged with three counts of assault, one count of assault with a weapon, and one count of wielding a dangerous weapon. A couple who refused to let their flower shop bistro be used as a wedding venue for a homosexual couple this past summer are making headlines once more. Mary and Dick Adgard are currently filing a lawsuit against the Iowa Civil Rights Commission on October 7th and claims that any attempt to force them to host a same-sex union is violation of their religious beliefs and of the Iowa Civil Rights Act. Iowa law does prohibit service refusals based on sexual orientation, but religious sentiment often makes these scenarios more complicated. A 19-year-old Cameroonian girl was tortured and starved during a violent exorcism attempt in France back in 2011, and now the four individuals who attempted the exorcism may be heading to prison. Three men and one woman, who were members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, are now on trial for the incident, although they deny committing any acts of violence against the woman and states she had consented to the exorcism. The trial, which began this Monday, is set to end today. A Christian group called Answers in Genesis has begun a new campaign to attract atheists. The group uses electronic billboards to say things like, To all our atheist friends, thank God you are wrong, hoping it will inspire them to visit their website and watch videos which prove the existence of God. Some are calling the project counterproductive, saying it shows Christians as self-righteous by reducing the Bible to a single negative statement. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about who we are and what we are about here at churchmilitant.tv. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Michael Voris will be speaking at the 7th Orange County Rosary Congress. In upstate New York, this wonderful three-day event runs from Thursday, October 10th through Saturday the 12th. Please call 845-374-2901 to register or click the link for more details.